I'm going to salt the water for my pasta. And these fettuccine cook quicker than dried pasta, so they'll take about four to five minutes. And we are going to finish cooking them in the cream sauce. And that's when they absorb all of those flavors. So we're just going to put our fresh fettuccine in the water. There we are. OK. I'm going to heat up my pan here. And we're going to heat two cups of heavy cream. And originally, fettuccine alfredo was only made with butter and Parmesan cheese. When chefs started to make it in, in America, the butter and the Parmesan cheese just didn't have that same rich quality that it has in Italy. So they started to add heavy cream to get that same texture and the same richness. Now that I've got that, I'm adding some lemon juice. But I want to make sure the seeds don't get in the cream. Now, what the lemon juice does, and I'm also going to add lemon peel. And what the two of them do, it sort of cuts through the heaviness of heavy cream. It gives that a little bit of a tang, a little bit of a kick. And we're going to use about a half a cup of fresh lemon juice. And as long as you don't bring it to a boil, it won't curdle. In fact, I want to make sure that we keep this on a low heat. I'm going to add one more lemon. If you go ahead and zest your lemon before you cut it open, you won't have to buy extra lemons. So I'm just going to zest it right now, and then hold on to it and add it at the end. There we go. That looks good. OK, so I've got my cream and my lemon juice. Now I need my butter, and lots of it. The butter will help thicken the sauce, and it'll also help the lemon juice from curdling the cream. I'm just going to give it a quick little stir. These are big chunks of Parmesan cheese. You don't actually want to cut it. You just want to break off the pieces. I'm going to put it in my food processor. It'll grate it all for me. Great. I'm going to leave that for a minute, and we'll check on our pasta, which should just about be ready. Let's see here. I'm going to taste it. Mmm. It still has a bite to it. It's still a little bit chewy. So I know it's not cooked all the way. So I'm going to add the pasta. There's nothing like the smell of fresh pasta. I just love all those aromas. Now the flame for the fettuccine and the cream sauce is still on low. Again, you don't want to boil it, because it could curdle. So we're going to add a little bit more cream. Mmm, smells so good. We're ready for the cheese. I need about two cups of Parmesan cheese. Some of the lemon zest I zested earlier. Fresh nutmeg. I don't like to buy pre-ground nutmeg, because I don't know how long it's been sitting on the shelf. And also, it doesn't have that wonderful taste and aroma as when I grate it myself. I need a little bit of salt and some white pepper. And white pepper is mellower, so it works really well with this rich dish. Look at that. I'm ready to plate it. The pasta has absorbed the cream sauce. And the rest is for me. Mmm. Mmm. It is velvety. It's rich. And I can taste the little bit of lemon. Gives it a little kick. 